former President Trump gave a speech in Pennsylvania Saturday night, during which a member of the crowd started chanting something quite unusual, namely, Genocide Joe. This really caught on with the crowd. But what exactly did they mean by this? Was this guy a pro-Palestinian activist at a Trump rally? Or was he a run-of-the-mill Trump supporter with a random insult for Joe Biden? Let's take a look at the clip, and this is from RSBN on Rumble, with the cleanest shot of the incident and the guy involved, who is the guy with the baseball cap and sunglasses behind Trump to his left. You're fired! Get out! You're fired! One of the leading drivers of Biden's inflation disaster is his war on American energy, and pension energy is our big problem. The guys that were chanting Genocide Joe are positively jubilant after the crowd of thousands joined them. Maybe the crowd doesn't even know why they're joining him, but it's something bad about Joe Biden. And the more I look at these guys, I really do think that they are perhaps Palestinian or Muslim. Every, every time Trump said something positive about Israel, they were shaking their heads in disapproval. So in the beginning of the speech, Trump makes the usual supportive comments about Israel because Israel is reportedly about to be under attack from Iran by a large like flotilla of drones. And the guy in sun the sunglasses behind Trump to Trump's left is pretty unequivocally shaking his head every time Trump says something supportive of Israel. So it would seem to indicate that this individual might be both a Trump fan and maybe he himself is Palestinian and a supporter of Gaza, and he might regard Joe Biden as someone who's perpetuating genocide. Before going any further, I want to say God bless the people of Israel. They're under attack right now. That's that's because we show great weakness. This would not happen. The weakness that we've shown is unbelievable and it would not have happened if we were in office you know that they know that everybody knows that but america prays for israel we send our absolute support to everyone in harm's way this is an attack that if you doubt that this gentleman and his compatriots are at the trump rally to support palestinians in gaza Take a look at his reaction to Trump's mention of Israel. And you don't, you don't usually see people in the crowd at a Trump rally disagree with anything Trump says, unless it's an outright protester. But no, these are guys who appear to be of Middle Eastern ancestry, who are at a Trump rally agreeing with everything Trump says, except with regard to one particular country. I also watched part of this rally on the YouTube channel Golden State. And I noticed that the entire section with the Palestinian protesters saying Genocide Joe was muted out and the guy was kind of cropped out of the shot. And it made me think, why, why are you censoring someone saying Genocide Joe? It's not like they're calling for genocide. They're attributing what they characterize as a genocide to Joe Biden's foreign policy. So there's something very odd about this incident and about the way that it's being handled on, on the social media platforms and in the media. So we looked at the clip, we watched the body language, we saw the guy shaking his head at every mention of Israel, and he kind of signaled at his friends before they started chanting Genocide Joe. And they created a really viral moment, you have to say. So yeah, these guys are Palestinian supporters they apparently support Trump, too. Um, that would put Trump in an awkward spot because Trump also supports Israel. My name is Michael McCara. Thank you so much for listening. Follow me on Twitter. Like this video if you liked it. And do subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And I'm getting love from you. Make your vow. Make
your vow.